Natalia Mikelenseva, who has not had the best of seasons, taking on Elise Cornet of France. These two played here last year, in fact. And that was an epic three hours and one minute. That's too good. Not a lot Corne can do out of this. That's well done. Good feel. Good vision as well. So good. Really impressive hit from Elise Corne. So good. Falling backwards, not easy. Oh, that's brilliant. What a return. Brilliant hit. Got it. Wasn't much space. And she rode her luck, but... So good. Nothing Vicar Lanceva can do about that. No, he's missed it. It was a brave move to come in. Ultimately proved to be a poor one. And the first break goes the way of the semi-finalists from last year. What a game that was. And there is the opening set in the books for Natalia Vikelenseva. She's now won all seven sets she's played here in Moscow this week. Seriously impressive. That's nice. Excellent deep return initially. She's got to recover back to her left here. And that makes this particular run that much more difficult. You're moving in a semicircle. Oh, great finish. 
Tremendous effort from Elise Corne, who bounces back here. There will be a challenge. But I suspect well, there's not going to be a whole lot to come out of it. And smack bang on the line. Game and second set. responds in fine fashion to level this at one set apiece. It's nicely dated. The first serves, critical first serves here. Brilliant serve. Wonderful width to that. Just of contact around the outside edge of the ball. Oh, that's a worldy. What a great shot. Oh, how good was that? Not easy, had to reset. Went up there quickly. The benefit for her, it was on her stronger side. What a fine victory that is for Elise Corne, who exacts a little bit of revenge on Natalia Vikilantseva from her defeat 12 months ago. These two have had a couple of titanic battles here in Moscow. It's Corne that prevails and moves on to round two here at the Kremlin Cup. She wins 7-5 in the third.